Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have been playing with oil pastels. Um, my favorite are the Gallery Mungo, but I was able to get these Paul Rubin oil pastels. This is the 48 set um, that you can get for a pretty reasonable price. And these are nice too, I like these. And I do have color pigment uh, information. My favorite set so far is the um, Mungo Gallery Artist Soft Pastels. MOPV 48 set. Eventually I think I'm going to get the bigger one because I like them so much. A little sort of flower vase thing. Um, I've got some Cansom watercolor paper here cut to 6 by 8 and I'm just going to tape the edges. Um, that way I have a half inch tape here and then I'll have a 5 by 7 um, painting when I'm done. So I'm just going to, that way I have clean sides just because the oil pastels sort of um, you know, can be uh, somewhat messy in a controlled way. <laughs> They're a lot of fun to use, and I found that doing a watercolor wash, sort of blocking out what I'm going to do, has been nice. That way, I don't waste my pastel laying down color on stark white paper. Um, so, that is a little tip that I have for you. Um, so, I'm not using pastel paper, I'm just using the 140 pound Canson watercolor paper. So first things first, I'm going to block out um, some color and for that you can use regular watercolors. I happen to have my Lyra watercolor sticks here. So I'm just going to kind of quickly lay down some pigment. Just going to kind of make a table. Um, you know, you're going to go over this with pastel so it doesn't need to be super exact okay so just getting a couple colors down there kind of looks like kids a kid's drawing here for a second but um you'll you'll see as, as things go out that it's um layers and layers and layers and with the softer pastels it's nice to get um there are only so many layers i feel like you can get so it's nice to get this color down without having to use them a layer because otherwise you just have so much oil on there you start sliding everywhere and <laughs> Uh, aren't able to get as much detail so, so I'm just gonna get a watercolor brush and I need a paper towel and then I'm just gonna start turning that into a watercolor quickly here okay and then get our all right I'm gonna go ahead and dry that all right, once you get that fairly dry to the touch, you're ready to just start kind of layering on color. I'm gonna make some strips of paper because as we go, we're gonna have to clean off the tips of our oil pastels. But I'm going to block in sort of a, uh, a vase here. Yep. Just gonna kind of draw that in very roughly, okay. That with your finger. I happen to have the um, Dina Wakely um, rubber silicone marker, not making marks, but you can get like makeup silicone. Um, I'll try to remember to link some there below, but uh, that are much less expensive. All right, so I'm just making some quick, quick little doodads here. All right, I'm gonna start going in. Little pot here. Hopefully, oh, sorry, that camera's shaking from my rubbing. Um, gonna bring in some. Whenever I bring in a color, I try to put it somewhere else. So even if it's just a tiny bit in the in the vessel here or something like that. But um, and as we build our flowers, we'll do that as well. So I'm gonna get some light color down sort of swirly here. and then just layering them up okay. we want to get dark down here because that's where our shadow is so I'm kind of come in a little heavier there Do like 
like a reddish pinkish. Start to define more. This lighter peachy salmony color on top. So now I want to think about our greenery. So I'm going to get like an olive green coming out here, and again, echoing some of those colors down here. Actually, while I'm thinking of it. Uh, sort of where our leaves want to go here. Be hanging down here in front of our um I'm gonna come up here in the corners. I'm going to introduce another color. So let's go with this sort of minty light color here. And echoing that color in other spots. Other kinds of little flowers sticking out. might have to clean off your edges there so that you can kind of define a little more. You can use colored pencil. Depending on how hard or soft your colored pencil is, you might just move um, the pig, the oil pastel, which is, might be what you want if you want to see this detailed bit here. Um, or if you use a softer one, then you can go ahead and get um, uh, a softer one so that it'll mesh with the oil instead of moving the pigment, if that makes sense. Um, just want to get the last little definition here. Okay. Pop of orange just to kind of might have to press a little bit again because it's getting very slippery. I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and give you an up close look. And my hands are clean again. So we want to peel away from the painting. So you don't want to go toward the painting or you might mess things up. So away. Um, away. Okay. 
and I did edit some of this out. It's about 23 minutes from start to finish. Um, so a very quick way to get an oil pastel painting. Now this is very impressionistic. Of course you can do more realistic looking ones, but I just wanted to do a quick one with you showing the Paul Rubin oil pastels. I'll leave links below. Go ahead and give a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you so much and have a great day.